In a past video, I made an Xbox One controller battery pack using two 18650 cells, and while it did work, it did look pretty gross as the end result, and it left a lot to be desired. And since then, I came into owning a 3D printer, and I thought it would be fun to revisit that project with the intent of making a better looking, more well-rounded product. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show here today, so let's have a look at what I designed. I cannot take credit for everything that you see on the build plate here. Everything on the left, including this little guy, is something I did create because it's shapes and I'm pretty good at those. Uh, the thing on the right I did not design, but I'll go over that in a second. Everything on the left is responsible for holding and contacting the cells. This is the cell holder right here. These four biscuits will, will hold the hardware that will contact the cells, and once that's in place, we'll take these biscuits and glue them inside of these cavities right here inside of the cell holder in this channel inside of the this channel inside of the center wall will allow for the that hardware to be soldered in parallel um, without going over the top of the case for fun I decided to challenge myself and see if I could design a matching lid that will go over everything once it's done and hold the cells in place and kind of give it a more finished look and this is what I came up with it'll go over the top right here and these four holes will allow for screws to pass through and I'm hoping they will force a thread inside of these holes and just kind of bite into the plastic and hold themselves. Um, not sure how that'll turn out. I think it'll work just based on how screws work. Uh, I did design it to be a little smaller than the diameter of the screw, so I'm really hoping that just works out. We'll find out in a second, though. Uh, and for fun, I threw on this Never Gonna Die text, mainly because I want to see how 3D printed text looks. Also, to pay homage to the overall design, because the last one just did not die. Yeah, I let it run for hours, I played with it for hours, and it just did not die. I ended up charging it just to make sure the circuitry works. Let's go over the stuff on the right. Uh, so this battery pack door is something I did not design because it's well beyond my ability right now since I'm still new to 3D printing. I found this on Thingiverse. I'll be sure to leave the link in the description below to credit the original creator because this is not something I'm taking credit for. I did modify it to suit my needs, and if you click on that, you can see the differences between the two. The reason why I designed it, or downloaded it rather, um, is because it had this wall that has these two mounting holes for hardware that will contact the contacts of the Xbox One controller, and because it just snaps into place perfectly. I mean, this is a really good design, and um, I'm glad to use it for this. So I really appreciate the efforts put in for the, from the original creator. And this triangle right here will be super glued underneath this rectangle which will allow for a mounting of a micro usb port that will contact the charge controller which will be in place here and will allow for charging so let's go ahead and 3d print all of this stuff and see exactly how well we did When it came to the contacts, I messed around with a few ideas, but I finally landed on heating up the metal contacts while on the plastic biscuits to melt them into place. This actually worked a lot better than I expected, and once they were done cooling down, I epoxied the biscuit contacts into place. For the positive contacts, I was able to cut some teeth into the metal, which helped when it came time to heat them into the biscuits.
I fused both assemblies together using JB Plastic Weld. As an afterthought, I ended up having to drill two holes through both pieces of the plastic to allow the wires for the battery to feed through. This here is a prototype lithium ion charge controller I designed. It'll monitor the charge and discharge of the batteries and keep everything safe. In order to pass the battery voltage to the controller, I'll be using these screws to make a connection to the battery tabs in the controller. I used a tin length of wire in between two nuts to make a solid connection from the charge controller to the screws. Now we can put the cells in place and slap the lid on top. The last thing left to do is see if these screws force a thread through the plastic. The end result is a lot more pleasing to look at than the last attempt at this project, but it still maintains that ridiculous look, which I kind of like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you subscribe, and I will see you next time.